I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We are talking about the blessing of brokenness. You see, God uses broken things, broken soil to produce crop, broken clouds to give rain, broken grain to give bread, broken bread to give strength. It is broken things that God uses. Remember in the Bible, in the book, in the New Testament, the Bible talks about the woman that had the alabaster buckle. That buckle needed to be broken in order for those around, including the woman, to experience the fragrance and the beauty of the perfume that was hidden be, be beneath and within that perfume. It was Peter who was broken. It was Peter who was weeping. It was Peter who, when he realized that he had denied the Savior, it was at that point that of, of his brokenness that he was able to cry to God in order for God to make him. And we find the same Peter after his brokenness, a changed person, the one who returns later in the day of Pentecost with greater power and greater, greater things that even when he passes just by his shadow, people are healed. You see, many of us have not learned to accept what it means to be broken. And it is broken things that have the power to achieve the greatest. Remember the story of Paul in the book of Acts chapter 28? The Bible says when they, were, they got into the ship, they were moving from Jer Jerusalem to, to, to Rome, but along the way they meet a storm. And after the storm, it is shipwreck and the, and the very vehicle that was carrying them is broken. And God had said to Paul, hang on to whatever pieces. And Paul says to the people, listen, now that the ship is broken, now that the vehicle that was supposed to get, at, get us to our destination is broken, hold on to whatever piece that which was broken. It will get you to the other side. I'm saying to you, you might be broken. Your life may be broken. But it is those pieces that you hold on to that God wants to use to get you to the other side. Jacob could only meet Esau when he was broken. Jacob could only meet Esau when he had embraced his brokenness. And you can only meet your enemies and you can only move forward in the future when you have embraced your brokenness and you have accepted the blessing that come from God. And as you think about this, as you think about your brokenness, as you think of how God uses soil in order to bring about the beauty of the crops, and you think about how small broken articles of soil can produce great things. May in your brokenness, may you experience the beauty in your ash. May God bless you. May God be with you. And may God allow his grace to cover you. And may he let his face to shine upon you. Amen. Amen.